It was a brand new Yeeps update that came out, and apparently I'm like, maybe two or one day late. I don't know, depending on how when this video came out. Also, I took a massive break, so here's basically my comeback, and yeah. So the new update came out with new blocks, changes to old blocks, and maybe, just maybe, the biggest update to Yeet's creative mode ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in here for the sake of me showing off all the new stuff. Because I kind of want this to be a tutorial video so you guys don't get absolutely good wings or something. I don't know. Yep, that was made using all the new blocks. But here is the basics of... But what the heck? So here's a button. The button activates the wire. Cool. Here's another button. Also activates the wire, but this time it can't be hit by like a gadget. You have to press it with your finger. And then the power block. It just constantly powers something. Now, there are like a lot of wires, and uh, for some reason they made a really, really long wire. Why couldn't they do this with pipes, bro? Like, bro. There's also this radiation bomb. <laughs> Makes you radiated. Look like Shrek's babies from, what is it, Shrek 4 or 5? I don't know. I don't even know if Shrek 5 came out. But it basically gives you a speed boost, and it does give you... It also does something with the new bundle item. As you can see, the bundle item, I have no idea why it's in the music section. But it detects radiation. That's pretty cool. Here's trapped wood. It might not seem like much right now, but it actually plays a huge... It, it plays a pretty big part in this build that I'm making. But actually, trapped wood, if you were to step on it, it would activate, so that's cool. Now, I don't have, like, these, but if you were to walk through them, it would activate or deactivate something, as you can see. It would, for me, my build, it would activate, deactivate the lights, and activate this cool mofo sign that I made. For, cause I made a secret key, um, let just touch this, cause that's trapped wood. It would drop a key here, you get the key because of this key dispenser thing. If you hook it up to something that can be wired and you put the key in here and it would activate something and uh, we'll get into these logic gates later but it'll activate something these are the wireless things this is basically what I used at the start of the video to get the key um, but this this actually helps a lot with this build any build really so so those are basically all the things that can activate something well most of them i bet there's more but i just kind of forgot about them now we're gonna get into stuff that's like logic gates and delays okay this is a mini delay this is very tiny it looks just like a wire but wrapped in purple this is a bigger delay it's just a longer delay and then this is the biggest delay i have no idea what these are honestly like, genuinely, I have no idea what these are. I'm pretty sure these, like, speed it up. But, this is a randomizer, so it basically kind of just randomizes anything. It looks like the Mario block, and people use it to make gambling machines. It also makes a gambling noise. Like, one of those coin slots. As you can see, it's completely randomized every single time. What, did I break it? It's completely randomized every single time. I swear it does not always go in that direction. I swear... It does not always go in that direction, bro. Bruh! Here's a pretty good demonstration of the toggle and the AND gate. The toggle basically works exactly how you think it would work. It's a toggle, kind of like, because if I were to put, like, a wire here without the toggle. Bro, that's the wrong wire. Let's get that one. Bruh! It would activate it for a short period of time. Actually, I don't even know what that is. That's probably XOR. Where's the AND? I kind of screwed up the and thing, but there's and. Here's toggle, so I don't know what these red things do, but they do something. Here's toggle, and it basically activates it forever until you unactivate it. So if I activate both of these, it would activate the and trigger, which would activate the light. So you need both and of these, which is also a good time to talk about the not gate. The not gate always is powered, except... 
as you can see, it's always powered, but if I switch something on, it would unpower it. So that's interesting. I think this might just be like signal transmitter, I don't know. Whatever that is. This is XOR. This is literally the exact opposite of AND gate. As you can see, it only powers when there's one connected to it. So if I press this button, it would activate. But then if I press this button, it would not activate. This is the OR gate. It can be activated by this or this. So it's basically, you think of it as like a wire, except it doesn't like actually like connect everything. It's like, cause if I put a wire, cause if I want to put like a light over here and like a freaking key dispenser here and I connect them in the same wire, it would just, it would do both of them at like, it would do both of them. And I think this is the solution to that. So that's all the gates. Um, I'm pretty sure I have no idea if I missed any, but if I did, then I'm probably sorry. I don't know. I don't even know if I put a good explanation. Now we're going to get into the screens, basically how I made this. So it'll basically just work as, it'll basically work literally exactly as like these. Because if you activate it, obviously it'll activate it and stuff. Yeah. There's a new epilepsy safety, F uh, safety thing in the settings. You can't see it because I'm on mobile. But there's an epilepsy safety, so if some people in the wilds are spamming this and it keeps flickering you and it bothers you or you have like epilepsy, then you can turn on epilepsy safety and it would stop flickering and it would just be one. You can paint it and it'll activate kind of like a neon color. Think of it as like any way to make any neon color. Like for instance, I've always wanted neon red. There's neon red. It kind of looks like neon pink. They added a light bulb. It's the way I make this ceiling. The light bulb kind of emits light instead of that. So it's basically the screen, except it emits light. Here are the doors. I kind of showcased it a little over there, but they're just powered if you were to activate them with any sort of power source. They would open. Any, there's a lot of doors. There are key doors, so you don't have to put the key in the like the keyhole like that there are vents that kind of like are like vents you can make some really cool things with that there are regular doors that are like really really big and sometimes small there are hidden doors and that's probably it but these hidden doors like actually are cool yeah that's all for doors there's a monitor screen it's literally just that except it's covered in a monitor and you can make like computers or something and then there's these hidden things as you can see the wires are hidden in the blocks that's how i connected the stuff that's back here which is a lot by the way um <laughs> yeah don't worry about that uh you, I, you can see i hid the wires so they can be hidden instead of being exposed because exposed wires look very ugly i have no idea if i even demonstrated how these work but i have to paint them a different color maybe we'll just keep this color um Basically, how they work, if I were to get something that would power it, maybe like this button, and then I were to get like a light, I'll just get like a light bulb, and I push this button, it's literally just Bluetooth, it's color, it's color coded, kind of like how the confetti cannons are. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the fan. As you can see, there is an import right here on the fan now it kind of makes it look a little bit ugly because they i think they did mess up the input thing uh, it looks weird. but as you can see if i put a wire through the import it would not activate and if i were to push a button it would activate the fan and it makes a little noise a teleporter as you can see it literally is probably pretty useless in my opinion but if you were to go through it it would activate that might be uh, like helpful for some things, maybe like a haunted house if you were trying to make jump scares or if you were trying to do stuff that would be like cool or I don't know, but this is overall like the probably one of my like not gonna be used things in this update. There are also the outputs in these things if you go on it as you can see it activates. 
The powered of these, these can be powered on the new tech web. I don't have everything on that tech web. Basically, I have all like the key stuff, all the other stuff. But when I get it, I'm probably gonna throw it off. No guarantees. So that's pretty much it for this update. I find this update to be the best creative mode update ever.